What's up everyone? This is Lucas Ross Sports and you're watching my Lucas Ross Sports channel and it's time for my New Year's Six Bowl projections after week number eight of the 2022 college football season. Basically how this video works, these are based off of how the teams performed this past weekend and I choose the best teams for the New Year's Six Bowl games. And basically this is just based off, you know, of the one loss, maybe no loss teams as well. But like I said, I only give you four out of the six bowl games on these videos. And I will give you my top four college football playoff standings on Thursday. So let's get right into it here with our New Year's Six Bowl projections after week number eight. And I kind of made a lot of changes to, you know, the previous from last week's, you know, New Year's Six Bowl projections. So let's just jump right into it here with my first one. And it's in the Rose Bowl. I got Oregon versus Clemson in the Rose Bowl. I made a pretty big change here. Um, last week, I had USC versus Alabama. Now I got Oregon versus Clemson. I think I would love to see this matchup here. I'm looking at Oregon. We'll start with them. They've, they're coming off a big win against UCLA. I mean, they've been better ever since that BYU game, ever since blowing out, like I said, a lot in the past few weeks. I mean, ever since that Georgia loss, though, this Oregon team has looked a lot different. I think they've gotten used to the new coaching staff. And I think they are capable of, you know, maybe going to the Pac-12 championship as well. But if they win out, they could possibly be a college football playoff type team. And maybe have a rematch with Georgia at the end of the year. How solid would that be if we saw Oregon versus Georgia in a rematch from the first game in week number one to, you know, the college football playoff? Uh, Clemson, um, they're coming off a six-point win against Syracuse this past Saturday. They didn't really play their best, you know, game. I mean, they've had a you know, couple of close games in the last two weeks you know, against Florida State and then, of course, Syracuse last week. So, I mean, Clemson right now, they're not in trouble. They're undefeated right now. They're, they're definitely at the top of the ACC no matter what. I mean, they haven't lost an ACC game. They've already beaten Wake Forest, NC State, and then Syracuse. So, they've beaten all those top, you know, one of those top four teams in, you know, the Pac-12. Or actually the ACC, my bad. So, I mean... Clemson right now I think they're in a good you know site right now but DJ Ogilvy got subbed out in the second half um, I still think he played okay but two interceptions I think is just not going to get it done I don't think Clemson fans think DJ Ogilvy is the right quarterback but I think he pretty much is and I think he is the right guy so Oregon versus Clemson here in the Rose Bowl who would I think wins this game if this game were to happen, you know, tomorrow? I would say that Oregon comes out on top. I just think Oregon has gotten better, and they've, you know, their scores, you know, tell the story, and also their defense has played a lot better as well in the last few weeks. So I'm going to say that Oregon wins this game, you know, by about maybe a touchdown or something like that. So in the Rose Bowl, I got Oregon versus Clemson. Let's go to the next bowl, and that's the Sugar Bowl. I made a change here. I had Alabama versus USC in the Rose Bowl last week. Now I have them here in the Sugar Bowl. Alabama, you know, coming off that big win against Mississippi State, we looked like, you know, they looked like they got back on track after that, you know, heartbreaker to Tennessee on the road. Uh, USC, they they're back on track now. They have a bi they had a bye week I think last week, so I mean, they're trying to get back on track once again with Lincoln Riley. Yes, they do have one loss, and that came to Utah. On the road, that was a pretty heartbreak, heartbreaking loss there in week number seven. Uh, Alabama has a bye week this weekend. They'll play LSU on the road. And if you look at Alabama's schedule, Alabama's schedule gets pretty tough for the you know last few weeks. I mean, they still have to play you know LSU on the road. They still have to play Ole Miss on the road. LSU beat Ole Miss last weekend, this past weekend. So, I mean, Alabama, LSU, and Ole Miss are all fighting for that spot. And like I said, the SEC West is wide open. And I think this division is going to be a great finish to the end of the year. Like I said, Alabama versus LSU is going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game for the Crimson Tide to win that one. They still have to play Ole Miss as well. So, I mean, Alabama's schedule doesn't really get much easier along the way. USC... They still have to play all those other teams in the Pac-12. They still have to play UCLA. They also still have to play Notre Dame, which Notre Dame is kind of a decent team, but they haven't been really that big of a team this season. But both of these teams, I would like to see this matchup, though. I would love to see Alabama versus USC in the Sugar Bowl at the end of the year. Even though they, they don't make it to the college football playoff, I would still love to see this matchup here between Alabama and USC. 
Now, if I was going to make a prediction on this game, I would choose Alabama because of the defense. I think the defense will step up, and I think they'll give USC some problems on the offensive side of the ball. But both offenses are pretty good, so I would say this would be a really big type shootout type game. And the last time they played was Alabama versus USC it was 2016, and Alabama won that game big. So I think it won't be similar to that one. I think it'll be a lot closer. Let's go to the Cotton Bowl now. And I made a change here with, you know, the Cotton Bowl. Last week I had TCU versus UCLA. This time I got TCU versus Penn State. Uh, TCU coming off a couple big wins, of course, against Oklahoma State and then Kansas State this past weekend. Uh, Penn State, though, they're coming off a big win against Minnesota after that loss to Michigan. They blew out Minnesota as well, so Penn State looking like they're back on track after those loss after that loss to Michigan. Uh, TCU, they're undefeated right now in the in the Big 12 as well. So I mean, they're at the top of the Big 12, but they could still potentially lose a game down the stretch. I don't think they're going to remain undefeated for the rest of the year. It would be crazy if TCU was undefeated and they could possibly, possibly make the college football playoff. I mean, you never know, but I think they are good right here in the Cotton Bowl. I think they at least maybe lose two games down the stretch. I mean, they could still meet, T you know, they could still meet Oklahoma State or Kansas State in the Big 12 championship, so it would be a rematch if they played either one of those teams. But TCU, I like where they're at. I got them here in the Cotton Bowl. Penn State, I got him them in the Cotton Bowl. If I was going to make a prediction on this one, I would choose Penn State. I think Penn State has the better offense in this game, and also I think their defense will be a lot better by this time as well. But I like this matchup. I like this matchup in the Cotton Bowl between TCU and Penn State, a Big 12 versus Big 10 matchup. So let me guys know what you guys think about that Cotton Bowl matchup. All right, our last game here in the Orange Bowl, and it was a pretty tough one here for the Orange Bowl. And I had to go with this one. I had to go with Oklahoma State versus Ole Miss. Yes, I know Ole Miss just lost to LSU uh, this past Saturday. They got, you know, handed to them in that second half. But this is just a one-loss team. They, they're only lost now to LSU. But I still think this is a New York Six-Bowl team. Even if they, you know, finish maybe 10-2, 9-3 or at the end of the year, I still think this is a good New York Six-Bowl team. Oklahoma State, on the other hand, I think they're still a New York Six-Bowl team. They've gotten better each and every single game as well. And they beat Texas this past Saturday. That proved to me that Oklahoma State is a New Year's Six Bowl type team after that win over Texas. And they have had some, you know, good wins, you know, this year. I know they lost to TCU, but I think they can get revenge in that game if they met in the Big 12 championship. So this matchup here between Oklahoma State versus Ole Miss is another matchup I like to see. I mean, you got two great, talented offensive teams. I think defensively it would go to Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State has a pretty good defensive line. Um, the secondary is just what really concerns me in the passing game with Ole Miss. I mean, Ole Miss likes to go quick tempo, and Oklahoma State would have a trouble to get on the line. But I think Ole Miss would win this game if I was going to make a prediction on this one. If this game were to happen tomorrow, and I think Ole Miss would win that game. So I'm going to say the Rebels do win against Oklahoma State. And those are my New Year's Six Bowl games after week number eight of the 2022 college football season. Let me guys know what you think in the comments below. And keep subscribing to this channel. If you are new to this channel, keep hitting that subscribe button. We're trying to get the views up, and we're also trying to get some followers on this channel. And if you are new, if you're not subscribed, just please subscribe to this sports channel. I do all kinds of content on sports. And stay tuned here for more on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.